the field of the air that'll be with us through Monday until a cold front moves through. As we mentioned at the top of the newscast, we now have tropical storm Ian, not any per se really better organized than it was earlier. Center of circulation is still well removed from the thunderstorms. However, estimates on satellite hurricane hunters have not yet flown into it today. Estimates on satellite is what reason or what caused the hurricane center to kind of upgrade it with 35 mile an hour winds to 40 mile an hour winds and that does designate it as a tropical storm though again not really any better organized than it was earlier today wind shear still posing more of an issue but that will subside and we will continue to see further strengthening as it approaches the caymans and then eventually uh the western tip of Cuba as we head into early next week and really no change in thinking somewhere along the west coast of Florida. Matter of fact, kind of comparing the track for, uh, now to what it was at four o'clock, didn't see any real dramatic changes as the computer models also didn't change tremendously. There had been some signs of maybe a little bit of a western jog of some of the models, but then we had another little cluster of models that actually started to favor a little bit more east. So basically splitting the difference of the model suite that the Hurricane Center uses is about the same as it was earlier. The reason the steering probably is not going to change too much is now it is being well forecasted. The upper trough is developing over the northern tier states. The upper high, which is kind of uh, steering the storm in the near future, continues. It will start to break down, allowing for that turn around the western ridge of the high. Here comes the upper trough. That starts lifting it to the north. We'll have a westerly flow in the Gulf of Mexico as we head into the weekend, keeping this storm well off to our east wind shear still posing a bit of a threat over the course of the or over the top of the storm now, but that will start to subside. So more open environment, which is why it looks like this storm probably won't be hindered from further developing right up to the point of landfall. And at the moment, almost all of the models are going with a major hurricane at landfall. Here is our defense system, a cold front moving through maybe a few isolated showers early Monday, but this system cannot move into the front with the cool, dry air in place for next week. That tropical system is staying away from us. So Ian, not a threat. Our weather turning beautiful. You almost feel a little guilty about it, but we have had our fair share of storms over the last two years. We need a break. Hot.